hey beautiful people my name is Michelle welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so so much for stopping back again and if you're new to my channel hey girl welcome in today's video I'm going to be doing this very beautiful affordable face most things everything like $15 and under so if you want to see how I achieve this look, all of the products that I use, stay tuned. But before you leave, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share with a friend, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell. That way you'll never miss an upload, and I'll see you at the end of the video. hey guys how are you i hope you're all doing well so today i'm just going to be doing my face it's saturday i'm going to go on the road but i know i have some i have some clothing hauls that i want to do later so i'm going to just do my face i'm going to show you how to get a nice flawless face affordable everything i'm using will be like 15 dollars and under so very affordable right so i've already washed my face of course moisturized now we're going to prime which the milani primer this was from walgreens cvs um i got mine from amazon right and it was about maybe ten dollars if that much you don't want to miss this step especially if you want your makeup to last okay so this has sunscreen and moisturizer which is good so basically i'm double I'm doubling up because I already have moisturizer. Feeling good. Alrighty. Today I want to color correct, so I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, orange stick. And I'm just going to put a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. I'm just going to take my finger and blend that in. You can use a brush, but I want to use my finger. This is just to take cancel out any discoloration so that when you put on your foundation and your concealer, then it's not looking um, gray in that area. Okay. So if you have really, really dark under eyes, then you want to use an orange concealer to cancel out the darkness first. Alrighty, now that we did that, we're going to use our foundation. And of course, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. This was $8, Amazon. You guys know how much I love this foundation. You know I'm going to have to buy another one soon. Alright, you want to use like a nice kind of rounded flat top or a flat top kabuki brush to blend out your foundation so this is from a bh cosmetics brush set let me show it to you again all right and you want to when you blend your foundation you want to apply with um stippling motions you don't want to swipe because once you swipe um you will leave streaks on your face and you don't want streaks all right just push it in like so dab 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 i'm just going to put it over my my lids also although i'm going to put concealer all right and we don't want this video to be too long so i'm going to try to move pretty fast Alrighty, I'm gonna do my forehead and try to get some in between the brows right here. Alright, let's move our mirror a little closer. Uh, foundation is amazing. I 
try some clothes on later and I don't want foundation all over my clothes. Sometimes, you know, I run out of ideas, like, you know, what to do. I, I know I've done a lot of makeup, but I don't know if you guys always want to see makeup. So, if you have an idea, you can leave it down for me in the comment section. Something that you'd like for me to do on my channel that I haven't done. And I'll try it out. As long as it's nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. Face is looking good. I just gave myself a, um, I use one of those Sonic like brushes to clean my face really, really well. I don't even know if it's called Sonic. All right, we're gonna be using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Looks kind of yellowy, but we'll see. Is it done or what? Hmm. Don't tell me it's finished. Well, we can find enough. I didn't realize that I used this that much. It's really not a lot in there. Mm. I, it looks like there's something in there. But apparently... It's not much, but all right, we're gonna let that dry down and makeup revolution or revolution um, concealer and contour palette that looks like this. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take the these two colors. I'm gonna take this brush and we're gonna go in, hopefully. Okay, and go around. And take it right above the hollows, slightly above. Okay, because you want your face to be lifted, right? All right, I'm gonna do my jawline. And this one is a little dark, so I'm going to use this one to contour my nose. So I'm gonna put a little bit down here. I'm gonna pinch the brush to make it a little bit smaller. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna use that brush on my nose. Now we're gonna blend out the um, blend out the contour. And guys, uh, my thoughts and prayers are out to you know you guys that, that were in the path of um, the hurricane Helene. So I hope that you guys have power. Um, I was blessed enough um i didn't lose power or anything um it was just a lot of rain in my area so you know i hope everyone is doing okay and if you don't have any power i hope you get power pretty pretty soon because i know how it is you know when you don't have any power you can't do what you want to do you know what i mean all right let's blend out this here the nose contour I know this elf I think this elf concealer concealer dries down pretty fast hopefully it's not too much so I can blend it out I'm gonna use my shop miss a sponge these sponges are so nice and soft okay do my nose here And I'm just going to show you that, you know, you don't have to break the bank to get a nice, flawless face. Okay. 
Blend out the eyes, starting with the edges. When you blend out your concealer, try to start with the edges and then move your way up. And don't be too hard when you press. Kind of be gentle, you know, it's under your eye. You don't want to be too rough. Ready? Make sure you get into the corners of your nostrils or your nose, I should say. And we'll take the excess amount over the lids just to cancel out any discoloration that you may have. So when you put on your eyeshadow, you know, it's pop, it pops, pops. Make the colors look nice and bright. I think this is the earliest I've done my makeup on a Saturday. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but you know, sometimes you're just feeling, you just wanna relax, right? So I didn't do it yesterday, I just relax, clean up a little bit, cook, watch TV. I didn't feel like doing my makeup. So let me do it this morning. Or it's after 12. It's not early, early. But, okay. So now that we did that, we're going to take the same sponge that we're using to blend out the um, foundation. We're going to take that and just go around the edges to make sure that everything is nice and seamless. When it comes to makeup, it's all about blending. Take your time to blend. All right? You don't want to brush the bl <laughs> rush. You don't want to rush the blending process. That's very important, right? All right, we're going to be taking the um, Maybelline Fit Me in uh, what color is this? Twenty light medium, and we're going to use that to set our face. I haven't used this in a long time. I'm going to use one of these triangular puffs first. I don't know. I feel like I want my under eyes to be a little bit brighter. So I have another one of the e.l.f. camo concealer. This one's very, very bright. So I'm just going to put like one drop like right here. Right here. Right. Just like that. You can't even see it. And that's just gonna brighten up on the in the inner corner right here. I'm keeping it right in here. I don't know if you could see the difference. good enough try to keep your face stretched so you don't get any creases and take the sponge like we always do take off the excess on the back of the hand and push that in this powder is probably like what Ten dollars, not very pricey, and you get a whole lot in there. <sighs> Set the smile lines. And I'm going to Blend out the top part of my lids and we're going to set that also. Also set underneath my brow and my forehead. Get in the corners guys. Just going to put 
a little bit on the sides like this. And some down the bridge and make sure you put it in front right here and I'm gonna put a little bit down so whenever I do my eyeshadow I'm gonna do a very simple eyeshadow I don't use this palette very often but this is the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette Look at the artwork. Ooh. And look at the colors. These are like nice, folly colors. So I'm going to take this one here. And I'm going to put that on my... First of all, let me blend out this color that I have under here. The powder. All right. I'm going to zoom you in on my eyes a little bit so <clears throat> you can see what I'm doing so I'm going to take that color that I showed you and I'm going to put that on my on my lid we're not doing anything crazy okay Just packing that on the lid like that. It's like a nice warm brown. All right, I'm going a little bit above my crease line. See how pretty that looks right the color is very pretty but as you can see the top part it's not it's not blended right looks very harsh right there so I'm keeping the same brush right and I'm just getting a piece of tissue and I'm just taking off the the powder the color that I just use as much as I can right and I'm going to take that same brush. As a matter of fact, you know what? Mm. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into this lighter color, which is right here. And I'm just going to blend out the edge of this one. And you'll see the difference. I'm going to put it right here. Like that. All right, I'm going to go back and forth to make sure it's like nice and faded like you see can't see that sharp line anymore it's just blending into the color so that's what you want to do you don't necessarily have to use that shade but I just chose to use that shade anything you put in here you just have to make sure you blend it properly so this is a nice soft look like that very simple look because if we don't want to do too much that's what you do and if you want to go back and put a little bit more of that color here you can which is what I'm going to do but whatever you do, you know you always blend. Blend, blend, blend. Right? And this is so pretty. Just like that. And just like that. It's pretty, right? <laughs> All right. Oops, what, what, what brush is this? I'm just picking up brushes and just... Okay. <laughs> All right, just make sure you go back. We're going to take a 
flatter brush I'm gonna take this brush kind of flat and I'm going to take that same brown color and I'm going to put it going on under here okay and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line You know, just buff that out. Okay, and I'm going to put on my liner, my black liner. Careful, don't poke yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna go do the other one and then I'll come back. Okay guys, so I did um, finish the other eye. I put on a, a liner which is the one from Wet n Wild. This was only like $4 from the drugstore. So now what I'm going to do now is just um, set my face. I'm gonna use the Sephora powder 46Y. Um, that I've been using. This one is not expensive at all. So this is still affordable. And I'm just going to set everywhere else that I did not put the setting powder. The under eye powder. I'm not going to set under my eyes with this. I'm going to make sure that I dust off my face a little bit to make sure I don't have any fallout from the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to go in with the sponge and just push everything in until it goes away. Till it like blends into my skin. Not bad. Get into the corners, guys. Let me get into the corner with my sponge. All right. Now I'm going to um, contour my face, powder contour my face with this Fruits Cosmetics palette. Um, I don't remember how much this palette is, but I will list it down for you. If not, I will put another one down that's like $15 or under, okay? Because we're trying to keep it affordable. I just couldn't find my other palette. So I'm going to take this dark shade and just go around my face. I'm going to use this brush. So you want to set anywhere that you put the um, the cream contour. Wherever you put cream, you have to set it with powder to keep it from, you know, sliding around and your face to look wet and not staying where you put it. You want everything to stay where you put it. You don't want it to move anywhere anywhere else. Alrighty. I'm gonna All right, I'm gonna just get my nose contour brush. I'm gonna use my nose contour brush. And I'm just gonna go in, put a little bit of powder here, and then just drag it down. I'm gonna put on some lashes only because um, okay. I want my eyes to stand out a little more, but it's not necessary. You don't have to put on the lashes. You can just put on some mascara and that will be good enough. But you know, I just wanna be extra.
Nose contour is looking good. Now, I'm going to use the same palette that I was using, this same palette, and I'm going to take these two peachy colors here and I'm going to use them as a blush, blusher. You don't have to use, you can, you know, you can make whatever product you use, like a multi-purpose product. You don't have to use it for eyeshadow because it said it's eyeshadow. So we're going to use it as a blush. A blusher and I'm just taking it back here all right like that very pretty right all right that looks good now you guys know I like to put on my highlights so I have this revolution palette I can't even see the name that's how old it is I lost the cover so, it's a highlighter palette. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna get this brush and I'm gonna take a little bit and put it on my face here. Like it's not too much, it's just, just right. And you know, I'm going to put some in the inner corner. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit down. You know we're not going all the way down, we're just going like, you know, like three fourths of the way. Like right in here. To like right there. Alright, and then you're going to take your finger and like blend out, blend, make sure you blend out the top. Clean it up, clean it up. Okay. All right, that's all that we're going to do. Now we're gonna do our lips. This pencil is very affordable. This is Juvia's Place Cola. It's $10. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna line my lip. And I'm gonna take this um, Maybelline Vinyl Ink. What's this one? 35 cheeky something? Cheeky. And let's see how that looks. Oh. This is more like a gloss. It doesn't show up. So we're going to take this lipstick that I got from Absolute New York. It's from the Beauty, Su Beauty Supply Store. Maybe like $3. And I'm going to take this nude color. And put that on. Okay. I'm going to go back with the pencil. I'll just take the maybe um the NYX butter gloss and just put a little bit on top. Okay, and now I'm gonna set my face with the Juvia's Place setting spray. Very affordable, also.
feels so good. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna pop some lashes on and then I'm gonna kinda come back and finish off the video, but okay. Okay guys, so we're ready. That's a full face of affordable products, some from the drugstore. So I hope that you enjoyed. Okay, I'll be sure to leave the list of everything that I use down in the description section. And just like that, we have come to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that it was very easy for you to follow this look. This look I thought was very, very simple. Everything I used was affordable. As I stated before, $15 and under. I'll be sure to leave everything that I used down in the description section here. All right, guys, I always leave everything that I use, so don't forget to check that out. Again, if you love the video and you love this and the rest of my content, remember, guys, when you watch a video, please give it a thumbs up. That really, really helps out my channel. Share with a friend. Share with a few friends. Subscribe to the channel and also turn on your post notification bell. That way you'll never miss an upload and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Stay safe. Mwah.